uh, August uh, 6th, 2015, and I am JTG. It's now about 11.49 p.m., and tonight was the last episode of The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. Of course, The Daily Show goes on, but Jon Stewart will not be heading it anymore. And it's kind of a special moment for me. Um, Tonight, as I watched the final episode of The Daily Show, I recalled that it was one of Dad's favorite shows, and it was a big shared experience for us over the last 10 years or so. We watched it together almost every night that he was here, and um, on those occasions when he was in the hospital or he had gone to see John or Judy and was gone for a while, I would record it and you know, sometimes I would watch it, but I would save it, and sometimes I would even just avoid watching it, waiting for him to come back. In fact, most of the time I just, unless it was a key news night for, or there was a special guest, I would usually hold it. Um, and then when he'd come back out of the hospital or back from visiting John, <clears throat> we'd binge watch, you know, three, four, five, six, ten episodes a day, a night until we caught up. And uh, in the last uh, in the last year or so, Dad, when Dad was in the hospital quite a lot, I, um, I recorded a lot of episodes. And he came back for a while. He, he got out of the hospital and then he went to go stay with John and then he came back over here. And he was here for a while and uh, we watched quite a few episodes, but he had a lot, I had a, recorded a lot of them. And uh, then he went back to the hospital and the nursing home and then back to the hospital and back to the nursing home and I forget how many iterations of that it went. And finally he had the fall and he was, he went back to the hospital for the last time um, the Daily Show was Dad's one of Dad's favorite shows. He would always say, "We got any John recorded," um, meaning John Stewart, and you know we'd watch if we could. You know, if I had any, we'd watch them. Um, but I still have, you know, a couple of dozen, I think, Daily Shows that we never watched and I've never watched. Tonight was the final Daily Show. Now, Dad, several months ago, when he realized The Daily Show was coming to an end, told me that, you know, after, you know, we sh I shouldn't delete some of these shows I'm recording because he wanted to rewatch them in the months and years to come. And I'm sure he was, well, tonight, I think it would have been, Dad would have liked to have seen The Daily Show tonight, the final one. Uh, he would have laughed. I think he would have been disappointed at the end, but I think he would have liked tonight's show. It would have been another shared experience for me. We may or may not have caught up with all the shows, depending on whether or not he got out of the hospital. Um, but tonight's... Tonight is a bittersweet night. Because, although Dad... Forgive me, I'm a little emotional now. I haven't been too emotional like this for a while. I haven't had a good cry over Dad in a while. He would have been disappointed. He would probably be really angry about the debate tonight with the uh, Republicans. Because he, 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 hated, he hates most of those guys. He hated them all. He's not a Republican by any means. Um... And, well, it's, just what it, it's, it's the end of, it kind of marks a point at the end of our relationship. You know, Dad, this was, this was such a shared experience for me and Dad, because Dad and I did not really like too many of the same shows. He liked, when I would, he liked to watch the, what I call the murder channel, um, I think it's called Investigation Discovery. 
I would come home and he'd be watching, you know, he, he would typically watch these shows. They're like the scum of the earth, killing each other, crime, murder, dead blood. I have to honestly say, I don't, I have not turned on that channel since dad left. Um, I did like Law and Order, so he and I watched Law and Order whenever it was on. I would record it and we'd watch that. So that was another shared experience, but it wasn't the same thing as The Daily Show. He liked the occasional documentary. He would like to watch stuff about science and space and stuff like that, history channel stuff. He liked, Dad would have been a historian. I, he told me once, if, or well, he told me more than once that he was going, he would have been a history major if he had gone to the University of Arkansas instead of joining the Navy in World War II. One thing that comes to mind about this, though, about how, how I'm feeling tonight, I'm reminded how when my mother, in, not when Jack Benny died in 1974, her mother had died in 1968, so this was a few years after her mother died. And I remember my mother was just crying a lot over Jack Benny's death. And I was 13 at the time, 14, 13 or 14 at the time. And uh, at the time, I didn't quite, in my young age, understand why mom was crying so much over the death of a comedian. I mean, Jack Benny was a funny guy, but why was she crying so much? And... I don't know, maybe Jack Benny was a favorite of her mother's. That's plausible because her mother would have been, in her developing years, about the time, you know, her early, her early life when uh, Jack Benny was popular. So maybe Jack Benny was her mother's, pop was her mother's favorite, like John Stewart was for dad. And, you know, watching Jack Benny may have been a, Jack Benny movies perhaps would have been a, common thread or Jack Benny's TV show because it would have been on in the early 50s when mom and dad were living with her so maybe that was a common thread for her just like John Stewart was for me and dad and uh, the death of Jack Benny may have been for her uh, a reminder of mortality and the sense of loss for her mother whether or not, I, I, that would be one of the questions I would ask my mother, which I can never know now, was, was Jack Benny like a common experience with her and her mother? Did they sit and watch Jack Benny's TV show on the little black and white TV in the 1950s when they were living together? And, um... Well, John Stewart has not died, obviously. He makes a big point of, oh, I'm not dying, you know, I'm just going off to do other things. Still, it's another marker. Probably, you know, certainly unintended by John Stewart, but it's a it's a marker again of the passing of my father. Of things that we will never do again. We'll never watch John Stewart or Law and Order or anything together. And I recently saw something on the internet saying, which makes sense, is that you should not remember, you should remember people for what they did, not for what they will never do again. And watching The Daily Show with Dad. Something that he and I did. And we'll never do again. But I'll remember. I will remember what we did together. That and many other things. That's all.